Marilyn, tell us about the photograph on the left. Well, that was our wedding day, November 30th, 1963. Yeah, so and how old were you? 19. Am I allowed to ask that? I don't know. <laughs> okay, and Daryl was a little bit older? Two years older. A couple years older. So 1963, and so down in the bottom right, we see a photo of Daryl in his Marine Corps uniform. So when you got married in 63, <coughs> was the Marine Corps well, part of the relationship at that time? Well, a lot of people were being drafted at that point, and uh, we yeah. were a little bit concerned about Daryl being drafted. And we thought maybe being married might delay that a little bit. Mm -hmm. So you, he was 21 at the time mm -hmm. in 63. Of course, in 63, Vietnam isn't, it's not Vietnam yet, right? It's going on, but it's not big right. news. It's not big news But the draft was yet. going on. The draft was underway. Mm -hmm. Was that, do you remember that fact being was part of conversations that you and Daryl had? Maybe not right when we, were ma when we first married, but it was just within probably, I don't know, maybe the first, after the first year. I, yeah. I'm not really sure when it was that we began to be more fearful. You know, fearful. he would be drafted you know, and have to go to Vietnam. Yeah. How long were you married until it became pretty clear that that, that is what was going to happen? The second year, he began to um, realize that he was probably going to be drafted, you know, because so many were going and he, um, you know, was at that age. You're right. Yeah. Do you recall, I mean, I know it was a long time ago, but do you recall you know, what those conversations were like when it, I mean, d was there the day that when Uncle Sam sent the, sent the telegram and said, I want to spend some time with you, and well, or I, I want you to spend some time with me? It's a little hard to remember, but I mm -hmm. know that he went for an exam, okay. and they didn't call him the first time, and then he went back, and then he was going back, and he did pass the exam, and yeah. then they were going to take him to Little Rock. I, for the processing. Do you remember hoping that, you know, maybe he'd have a bad foot or something <laughs> like that? <laughs> no, <laughs> something, something that would maybe keep him from having to serve. Yeah. So do you remember when, what that moment was like when, you know, it was clear that he was going to put on the uniform? Yes. When he called me from Little Rock and told me that he had, uh, that he was getting ready to go to San Diego. And For boot camp? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. And we had thought that if he was drafted, he would be going into the Army, and that maybe a base close to our home yeah. we might be able to, you know, visit from time to time. But when he said San Diego, I knew that was the Marine Corps. Yeah. Because my brother wanted to be a Marine, and I was just devastated. Because yeah. I knew the Marines had like 17 weeks of basic training. Yeah. So at that time, you're not necessarily thinking primarily about Vietnam, mm -hmm. but just primarily just about Daryl's going to be away for, for 17 mm -hmm. weeks, mm -hmm. right? Were there are thoughts of, well, I guess you wouldn't, you know, you wouldn't move out there for boot camp. Um, mm -hmm. Were there thoughts that, okay, when you're out of boot camp, then wherever you get based, we'll, we'll settle yeah. down there? Mm -hmm. and, and that was our plan, you know. To yeah. So it was from uh, February till about June before I saw him again. Wow. So that was a real adjustment. It was yeah. really, really hard. I was sure. very homesick for him. For him. Because they didn't let them call home. I don't know how long it was before we got the first call. And then mm. when he called, it would just be moments, you know, because everybody right. got a moment to call. Exactly. So you didn't really get to. And you probably didn't get a lot of letters either at that time? Not as or many letters then. Mm -mm. Yeah, at that time. Uh, and once he got out of that first basic training, mm -hmm. then we had a little more letter writing and more telephone conversations. Mm. But you have to remember back then, phone calls long distance were expensive. It's ex yeah, it was expensive, that's So right, it wasn't yeah. like we could call and talk for hours. Sure, you know, yeah. It was very brief. Yeah. 
So how long was it or when was it when you actually saw him again? In June. In June. He came okay. home. He flew into Tulsa, Oklahoma. Oh, okay. And I met him over there and we had a few days and then we came back. I see. You know, to Springdale. Yeah. At that point, did he uh, have a sense that he'd be going overseas? In any capacity, either to well, I think he know. thought that there was that possibility, but we didn't know that. Okay. You know, uh, when he came back, we were home. I think he had a couple of weeks leave, and so from there, he had uh, orders to be at Camp Lejeune, North Carolina. Okay. So we packed up our car, thinking that we're going to be on a base for a while, and we got an apartment and set up housekeeping and. Two months later, he received orders to go to Guantanamo Bay, in Cuba. Cuba. Okay. And so that was disappointing because now I know what it's like to be without him. Mm -hmm. And now knowing he's going to be gone for five months. And you had family in Springdale, right? Mm -hmm. Whereas down there, you didn't have family. No, so, so. Um, I can't remember which time, but uh, he may have brought me back that time. To Springdale. Oh, okay. So I was staying so you with came my back parents. Home. I see. While he was gone, that yeah. five months. So five months in Cuba. Mm -hmm. Wow. And so the only time we ever talked when he was in Cuba was, you know, like the two-way radio <laughs> that they do every yeah. once in a while. But that's very difficult. Is that where you have to say o end every over. sentence with over mm -hmm. and yeah. yeah? There's a delay. So yeah. It's, but. We wrote letters regularly, probably daily. I did. And okay. As he wrote pretty often as sure. well. Sure. So then Daryl, five months, comes, comes back, back from Cuba. Comes back and home then for a leave. Yeah. So we're excited again. We're back together. And um, then we get back to Camp Lejeune, get mm -hmm. settled in again. Yeah. And we're there about two months. And they had told him he would be possibly even in some place in Europe. But the when the letter came, mm -hmm. he only had so many months, not the normal amount of months that they would usually send. send. Someone. Uh -huh. yeah. And so when he got the orders that we he was going to Vietnam, well, wow. you know, I was devastated. Because yeah. um, I've had four months with him yeah. out of this first... Golly, year. right. Yeah. And um, since Daryl didn't have, you know, it's a it's a full, uh, from the Marines, it's a full 13-month tour mm -hmm. in Vietnam. Did he do the full 13 mm -hmm. months? He only so had 10 months, I believe. 10 months. 10, 11. So did you, did you kind of conclude, did the two of you kind of conclude that as far as Vietnam was concerned, we he were, was off we the were hook? in the clear, is oh what boy. we thought. Yeah. You know, because he didn't have enough time. But mm. he still got the orders. That yeah. Were there. So the order shows up in the mail? Or he brings it home from base or something? I, I just remember him coming home and telling me. So what was that, that like? That was just awful. Yeah. Because now I'm real experienced with having him gone, but he's not gone into a dangerous place. Right. He's just gone. We're in early 67 now? At this point, yes, I think early '67, and yes. by this point, when you when you get married in '63, you know Vietnam isn't much mm -hmm. other. Th there are some major events, but not really related to U.S. forces in '63. But by '67, things are definitely mm -hmm. warming up. Were you um, paying much attention to mm -hmm. what was going on in Vietnam at the no. time? You knew there was a war on, but was it? That wasn't an interest. You know, really, yeah. I wasn't really thinking about that. I sure. It was a strange experience being on a near a military base where we lived. It was all military. Yeah. You know, these apartments. And, and uh, I had been raised in a small town. Mm -hmm. You know, um, came from a Christian family. Yeah. You know, had really not been around anything like the military. Mm-hmm. And, uh, it's a different sort of culture. That was kind of a yeah. eye opener for me. I wasn't used to people talking the <laughs> way they talked, and some of the things they did, you know, were just foreign to me. Right. 
<laughs> Did you spend much time with other marine wives? Yeah, the people there? that we lived right close to, we really, mm. you know, wasn't hard to make friends. Yeah. You know, but for two months, that's not very long. No. Yeah. Do, do you remember having conversations with other wives whose husbands were in Vietnam? Or mm, that, that you recall? No, none of the ones were in Vietnam that I was around. Right. Uh, okay. <coughs> some of them were deployed, like on ships. I think right. They were, uh, I'm not really sure. They go out with the navy. And so they were, they were just having a good time without their husband. Right. Which that was kind of shocking to me. Mm. You know, because I. Sure. Would not never have. Well. Yeah. You know, that right. The, our lifestyle. Mm -hmm. but, um, yeah. Well, walk us through. I'll I'll go to this photo here. Walk us through. Uh, you know, receiving the news that Daryl's going to go to Vietnam, and then, yeah. and then we get to this. Where is this Springdale? Mm -hmm. Here, it so is. the holiday it's in Springdale. Friends of ours um, told me to be sure as we left um, to take Daryl by the Holiday Inn. Mm. And, uh, that was on the um, their sign. Yeah. But yeah. as we uh, began to prepare, you know, we came back home bringing everything back and trying to get me settled back in. Back to Springdale again. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm. so we're involved in our church. So we have a lot of people doing things for us, you know, um, farewell parties and that kind of thing. We right. have a good support system and yeah. telling our family goodbye, you know, as far as those that were coming in that weren't there locally. Sure. Um, yeah. It was just and hard to wrap my mind around the fact that I was going to not really be able to see him nor talk to him. Mm. For many months. For many months. And you are also aware at this point that, I mean, this was a dangerous, oh, a dangerous yes. mission as well. Yes. Yeah. Although and at this point, as soon as he leaves to go to Vietnam, we're watching the morning news and the evening news. So you news. are watching it now? We're watching it, yeah, with my parents. Because both of my brothers are in the Marine Corps, right? And uh, yeah. so there's an uh, there's that possibility that one of them will go, right? And, uh, so at this stage, you are paying more attention now. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yeah to the war. Yes. How much time was there between Daryl getting the orders and actually leaving? It wasn't long. Pretty I mean, he pretty might have short. Had a two week leave. I, I'm not sure. It wasn't long. Yeah. I don't remember how long. So you've got to make that adjustment from thinking you're in the clear to here we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We've packed up we've packed up twice and gone for two months. Yeah. To Camp Lejeune and then back. And uh, just the reality that this is gonna be I've already had all these months away from him. Yeah. I've only really been haven't been with him very much in that year. Sure. So now I'm getting ready for, well, he was gone from me more than the 10 months in Vietnam. Yeah, he, yeah. I, I think he left in April. I can't remember mm. for sure. Um, were there any uh, folks from the World War II era who sort of talked to you about how to get through this or that you can recall? No. Yeah. We had a... a a marine recruiter on our street mm -hmm. and we had a neighbor who uh, was a marine yeah so they kind of told me when Daryl left for training how long it would be and how I would not really be seeing him right you know? so I kind of that kind of helped to know that but no, yeah I didn't really know anybody except uh, one family friend um, her husband was in Vietnam with the army okay but he wasn't I don't think um, in daily combat. Yeah, maybe a sort of a, a rear echelon mm -hmm. job. Well, let's come to uh, let's come to this image here, April 9th, nineteen sixty-seven. Daryl leaving for oh, right, for Vietnam. Yeah. Um, so tell us about that moment when it came time yeah. to say goodbye. We got over there the night before, so we had a night over there before we had to get up the next morning for him to uh, to leave, and it is so difficult. 
yeah. to, you know, walk into an airport knowing that you're going to uh, tell somebody goodbye. Was this in Tulsa? Mm hmm And um, um, there's just not enough. Sure. There's not enough time or words to say what they mean to you. But I do remember mm. um, as he uh, said goodbye and they had to load the plane and he walked down that, you know, and he kept looking back. It was just, I just couldn't, I thought that might be the last that thing. That might be it. Yeah. Be yeah. The last thing. Were there other military getting out of the plane or he was the only military? I don't remember yeah. them, there being any. And mm. I went over to the window because at that time, you know, they taxied out from there. And sure. Just watching and wow. thinking only the Lord mm. is going to get us through this. Yeah. This is... Hmm. Were you by yourself? Mm -hmm. I, well, I wanted to be by myself. But we did yeah. have a family friend that had uh, was in Tulsa and rode back home with me that, that afternoon. But you were in the airport by yourself. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Why did you want to be by yourself? I just wanted it to be us. Yeah. You know, it was we mm. just... Uh, I just was thinking of all the things that we were going to miss, you know, even if er he survived the war, but yeah. the fact that he might not yeah. make it back. And today when I was getting pictures for you, I found the will he wrote mm. before he left. And wow. I know that was probably very sobering for him. Mm -hmm. What was that? I think the last thing we'll... Uh, I'll mention here, but what was that drive like? You Sad. get in the car from. Did Very did your friend try to talk to you at all, or not just not just a quiet? Whole lot. It was just just quiet. Trying to process what lay ahead. What I was, you know, how how's life going to be? Yeah. You know. Well, let's end this conversation, this discussion here, and then we'll pick up with uh, the next okay. one. Thank you. Okay.